Is music one of your main hobbies away from football? Yes, it is. Because uh, ever since I was a kid, I, I loved music. And I find it very relaxing. So listening to an iPod with the music is something, you know, you just lock yourself in with the music and it just it's just a moment to relax. But uh, when I started playing drums, I realized it's much more fun when you actively, you know, join the music. Nowadays, you can find so many play alongs and, and all these tracks and drumless tracks. And even, you know, you can play with the track, it's not a problem. And you can put your favorite band in your headphones, you sit behind the drum kit and you, and you can rock all the afternoon. It's absolutely uh, relaxing and, and this is what I love about it. Have you got a favorite artist or a favorite song to play at all? Well, I like, uh, I like Nirvana and, you know, all these, all his, uh, all their songs. It's just challenging on the drums as well and, and, uh, there's plenty of bands, obviously. I follow Dave Kroll, I like Foo Fighters, and I, I listen to everything. And I've read that you, you've drummed with Roger Taylor from Queen as well. What was that experience like? No, it was absolutely unbelievable. I, I When I was 14, 15, I was listening to Queen's records, and my sister was listening to that. And I have a lot of friends which they were like, oh, Queen, you know, it's such a pity, you know, and they, they still keep playing, and, and they. And then suddenly I had the opportunity to, to meet the, the greatest uh, Roger and, and uh, I met him in the plane from the Champions League game because he is a funny football fan and, and um, so we had a little chat and in the end we, we had a little we had a little jam and, and, and we got to know each other so I'm really grateful for that. Who's the best musical footballer that you know? Well, I have to say that I know that Tomas is playing guitar. He played few gigs with a group called Three Sisters, if you, if you say it and, and if you translate it. And uh, so he can play guitar. We had a little jam w while we were in Euro 2012 in, in Poland. And um, yeah, it's probably him. Because you've played at a festival as well, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I played the festival in three years ago now, and it's, uh, it's called Rock for People, and this is the biggest Czech festival. It's in the last five days. And the, um, the year I played, there was uh, 30 seconds to Mars performing, or Queens of the Stone Age. So massive, it's a massive festival and, and I, I played with the, the band called Eddie Stoilov. And we had, a, we, we had, our gig was in one of the tents you use for the Glastonbury festival as well. So it held about six, to 7,000 people. And it was completely packed, even with people standing outside. And it was nerve wracking, I have to say. I was nervous when I came on the stage. I was thinking like, wow, I played football game in, in front of 90,000 people, but that was something like, I was like, wow. And I really enjoyed it as much as it was, I was nervous. I really enjoyed it because the atmosphere at the, at the mu music gig is completely different to football atmosphere. It's, it feels like, you know, you hit the first note and it's like you score a win in the last minute. And if you really keep playing well and, and you keep that energy and you know the whole gig it goes on and it's absolutely the vibe and everything is absolutely brilliant. It must be great to hear the fans cheer and, and sing your name afterwards as well. Yeah, it was it was uh, at the start as I said, you know, I was very nervous, but then see the reaction of people thinking like, oh come on, don't drop the stick, don't do that, don't do that, don't forget the song, don't just don't stop in the middle, of whatever happens. And uh, and there was a, uh, I had a, at some point the. Uh, the, the feedback, the hearing switch off. So I could, <laughs> I couldn't really hear what's going on. So this is my one the moment I was thinking like, oh no. But it all nobody noticed. So it was brilliant.